handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Consumer's Race Course here on Monday. It is the 16th of January, 2023. Going to look at the second race from Consumer's, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The second race from Consumer's, it's the Pre Marseille Handicap. It's Class 2 Handicap, going for a $56,500 purse. Race for five year olds and upwards. We have a field of 16 horses entered to go to the turf course, the distance of ground of 2,200 meters or about, or a mile three. It's on that turf course. Probably going to be very heavy out there. My top selection, I'm going to go with the nine horse Hood Winker. Let's go nine six in your forecast exacta. Nine six forecast exacta. Top selection, nine horse Hood Winker. Five year old mare by Fast Company. Uh, Thomas Duiller gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came 19th of November at Deauville. 1,800 meters, mile and eighth on the poly track in a class two handicap. He was drawn very wide that day, which hampered the horse's ability to get to the front end, I thought. He finished fifth by two lengths. He moved a little bit late, but he never really saved ground and just didn't have that extra turn of foot. It wasn't the day to win. He's going to have to overcome a wide posture here today, but I think uh, back to yielding ground, not the world's toughest race. Races here, Consumers in the winter are tough and not as tough as some of the races he's facing in the fall, in the summer at Longchamp especially. Refreshing here. I think he's in a better spot to win. I think he get the victory. Two back at Vichy on the 15th of August. Heavy ground, one mile in a novice conditions race. He finished second by one and a half lengths. He was a little bit wide, but he was gaining late. Not the world's worst race for him there. And then a long shot 30th of June, a mile and... Um, one eighth and a handicap, a class two handicap. There, he finished twelfth by four and uh, by four and a half lengths. That they just had absolutely nothing. Did not do some running at all. It wasn't his day to win. And then a Nancy, a one mile in a conditions race. He finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths. First start of the season. He desperately needed the race. He never really got the good turn of foot. But refreshing here, looking for his first victory since October 2021, which actually came at Newbury in the UK over the mile and a quarter, where he won quite nicely. Refreshing here, I think this mare could get the job done. I think also the six horse here. Leos could get the job done for Anthony Crastus. Uh, was close at Marseille Vivo last month in a, in a handicap or a conditions race where he finished second by a nose. He had a turn of foot but he just, you know, the winner outgamed this horse a little bit less weight on his back. Two back he ran a Salon de Provence over a mile and a half in a conditions race where he won by five. That was a very good run. A major improvement off the race force came to Arc Weekend at Longshop where he didn't absolutely no run in that mile and a half handicap. But refreshing here, I think he'd also get the job done. A definite use in your place or quant pot. But to recap my selection for the second from Consumers, it's the Prima Se Handicap. Let's take the nine horse Hood Winker. Give kudos to the six horse Leos. Nine six forecast, uh, nine six forecast exacta. Use them both in the place pot. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.